Join us as we embark on a 600 km road trip following the lives of the Brothers Grimm, who are collectors and publishers of the famous fairy tales we know and love today. Our self-built campervan flora will enable us to explore the destinations at our own pace, giving us choice and freedom. The route passes through medieval towns, cities and villages, with cobbled streets featuring traditional half-timber frame buildings, thick green forests and over 20 castles and palaces. It passes through eight nature parks and four states. Our adventure begins in Bremen. Traditionally the end of the route, but we're doing it back to front so it fits our travel plans a bit better. We spent two days exploring Bremen because there's so much to see and do in this large city, from the hustle and bustle of the Marketplatz to the quiet and quaint streets. The city is fiercely proud of its connection to the Brothers Grimm through the Bremen Town Musicians, a tale where four mistreated domestic animals escape with a dream to become town musicians. Ironically, they never make it to Bremen. St. Petri Dom Cathedral is an imposing feature in the Marketplatz. It was built in the 11th century and for two euros you can see the unique view of the city. We are now going to climb the bell tower of St. Petri Dom Cathedral in Bremen. So there's going to be over 250 steps on the way up and it's very <laughs> twisty, bendy, but quite dark. As I'm sure the camera's picking up. How are you feeling, mate? Pretty cool. <laughs> it's going to be impressive to see Bremen from above, though. The only way is up. <laughs> Just there, as you can probably tell, is the bell or one of. I'm not quite sure how many here, do you know? No. How'd you feel? Oh, we're at the top. I'm knackered. We'll count how many steps on the way down because I was too excited to get up. <laughs> 250 steps to be precise. You can truly see the expanse of Bremen and beyond from up here. I didn't realise quite how big the area was. It's huge. Onwards and downwards, I suppose. Onwards and downwards. Outside the city centre, we found Burger Park, perfect for a morning stroll. Or you could head to the oldest district in Bremen for some retail therapy. There is something for everyone. The city is a mix of new and old, which is green and vibrant. There you go. <laughs> Well, with my legs. We have spent the last two nights in this uh, car park very near the centre of Bremen. We are just next to Burger Park. Proximity to the centre has been great. However, obviously this is free, so there are a few drawbacks. It's felt quite safe. We've yeah. slept okay. But our top tip would be to park a little further away from the glass recycling. <laughs> <laughs> we love how green and environmentally friendly Germany is, but they don't mind sticking their glass in the bins at quarter to 12 at night and after 7 in the morning. Yeah. We found this place on our app and it does say that uh, there's a market on every other morning pretty much, which the one this morning was really nice. Yeah. I got some homemade ciabatta rolls for lunch today and um, it's a very nice spot. So that wraps up the fun in Bremen. It's been quite nice. Um, we haven't been in a large city quite a while. We've been camping out in the sticks and now we're moving on. We're going to head towards Hamelin, so we're going south. But we're looking for a park up spot that's just outside, hopefully a bit quieter, a bit more rural. And we'll be exploring there, the home of the Pied Piper, I believe. So that's it for now. And jump in and get chauffeured to the next stop. <laughs> We headed south that evening towards Hamlin. We found a free place to camp that was ideal for a quiet night's sleep and broke up the journey. Good morning from north of Hamlin. 
So this is where we stayed the night. It's essentially what we'd consider to be a sort of forestry car park. Mm -hmm. Pretty good sleep, wasn't it? Yeah. It was quiet enough. It's pretty level. Best thing, it's free. No amenities or anything, but you know, perfect little stop for one night. So now we're gonna push on towards Hamlin. Uh, we foresee slight issues with finding where to park the van. There's not much on the internal of the city, yeah. the town. Um, and the motorhome car park hasn't got rave reviews, so we're gonna try and avoid that. I'm hoping to park on the outskirts slightly, but still that doesn't seem to be much of an option, so today could be a bit tricky. But still, you know, so yeah. one of those things you've got to work around. So this is the, uh, the Pied Piper. So we found the car park and we're ready to go. We've got three hours until we have to be off and gone. But I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. Weather's a bit pants, unfortunately. We donned the Packamax and made our way into the centre. Hamlin is steeped in history, with churches that date back to the 11th and 13th century. For fairy tale route followers, you can find the Pied Piper's House and Hamlin Museum. In the summer months, there are live performances of the fairy tale in the Market Square. Coming from Bremen, Hamlin is a lot smaller in size and easier to navigate on foot. But we found there wasn't a huge amount to do other than sightsee. And of course, find a local bakery for a mid-morning snack. We were on the hunt for the famous rat-shaped cookies, but settled for a more substantial pastry instead. The rat-shaped cookies evaded us, but the bronze versions were easy to find when you looked in the right places. There are two statues that depict the tale of the Pied Piper and it's clear that the town revels in the legend, keeping it alive for generations to come. Whew, so we're back in the van, all is good. It's absolutely fine being parked here. Uh, it's a little hot, it's been sat in the sun, but it could be worse. Uh, we're just figuring out where we're gonna go now. We're gonna obviously make our way a bit more south. So Meg's gonna find a little spot to stay at and potentially have a lunch stop on the way. And um, we may see some castles later, we, we don't really know yet. The castles have been made into hotels, so I'm not really sure how much we can see without getting told off. Three hours is enough. I think. Yeah. If you had lunch, you could push it and a coffee, but... Yeah. We had a nice walk around, saw as much as we could, but uh, I'm ready to move on now, I think. We found our next free camping spot in the village, in a perfectly situated spot. So we've made it to Trendelberg. Trendelberg. Trendelberg, and in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, somewhere about there, maybe on the camera? Mm -hmm. That is Rapunzel's castle. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> don't get all, just because you're on the fairy tale route, you don't need to get all embarrassed. You've always been a fan of Rapunzel. Hopefully we'll have a closer look at that sometime soon. This will probably be our spot for tonight. It's not exactly luxurious, but it'll do. It was free and it's on our app, so we can't complain too much. But just look. Ooh. Sorry. What? What do you want to see? <laughs> but just look behind you and have a look at the lovely vistas of Rapunzel's castle. The village's historical focal point is the Trendelberg Castle, built in the 13th century. It is thought to be the inspiration behind Rapunzel's tower. It is situated at the highest point of the village and provides panoramic vistas. 
We've just had tea and it's about quarter past eight and we've decided to go for a little walk up the hill and see if we can get a little bit closer to Rapunzel's castle. We're getting closer. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Do I look better with dreads or normal hair? What's, what's your thoughts? <laughs> I don't know if that class is normal. Normal? Good morning. It's definitely one of the colder mornings we've experienced so far. Mind you, we're not usually up and about this time of day. It's actually still pre nine o'clock. Quarter to nine. Quarter to nine, we're up at seven. Uh, got ourselves ready and we're hoping to head to the shops to restock a little bit before we get going on to the next destination. The fog's lifted and the sun is now shining and we're off to Saberberg next to see Sleeping Beauty's castle. Again, it's a posh hotel, so we'll see what we can do in regards to footage. And it's only a 15 minute drive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 15 minute drive and then we've got something else planned for the afternoon. So it's time to jump back in the van, get rid of the condensation <laughs> and hit the road. This is one of our shortest journeys between destinations. And here we find ourselves at Sleeping Beauty's castle. Schloss Saberberg was built in the 14th century. It is now a hotel and museum, costing around three euros to enter. So that was Sleeping Beauty's Castle, but there's no time to linger, unfortunately. No, it is a 50 minute drive to the next town of Gottingen. It's turned into a beautiful day, so it's probably time to take this uh, jumper and hat off. But apart from that, it's been really nice, hasn't it? Mm. And we, yeah, we've got a 50 minute drive, as Meg said. And that's about that. Yeah, let's get going. Ah, oh, back to the van. So we have parked outside of the city. Uh, we found this place on the app. It is free. It's got some good reviews saying that people have stayed here the night and there's a couple of restaurants around which are good. So we're quids in and I feel like the van's safe. We've got our safety precautions on and it's about a 10-15 minute walk into the centre of Gottingen. This is where the Brothers Grimm were university professors. It's a university city. Now there's a few things to do here but we're going to treat ourselves to some lunch today. Oh! And um, sit in a cafe place for quite a while and catch up on a few bits and pieces. Yeah, we planned to come into civilization yesterday, so I had a bucket wash and I'm not too bad. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's acceptable. Very acceptable. Acceptable will do. So we're now going to take a stroll through the university's botanical gardens and this is the same university that the Brothers Grimm were um, professors at and taught at. The botanical gardens were founded in 1736. It is free to enter and explore the vast collection of exotic plants set in humid greenhouses. From massive ferns, cacti to blooming hibiscus. So that was the botanical gardens. Let's go and see if we can find the city walls. So behind me was the botanical gardens. We were just down there a minute ago. We popped out, went round the corner, and then we're now on the city walls, which protected the city back in the day. 
Which day? I don't know. I've done the research. We'll have to have a look. Okay. We'll put it here. Yeah. How old these castle walls are. But this is a very nice walk around the city. After some research, we found the city walls to be over 250 years old. They provide an elevated walk around the perimeter of the city centre. This is one of the most kissed statues in the world. Little Goose Girl has been kissed by all graduates of the city since 1901. It is a token of good luck and another tale from the Brothers Grimm collection. We've had a very enjoyable afternoon in Gottingen and we're now just walking to the van realising that we are next to one of the things on my list to come and see here. It's Kearsey Lake. Another success, the van is still here in one piece and we're good to go. It was a nice walk into the centre, along mm. the river, by the lake, and you kind of entered from a very central point, didn't it? Yeah, this was absolutely ideal. Perfect spot, well done, park for night app. Yep, and I think we might call it halfway through the video here. Yeah. We've got a lot more coming up on the fairy tale route, we're only halfway through, and we're heading more south, and we are heading to what would be the beginning of the route. Yes. Traditionally. Yes. So yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's going to come up. Meg's done more research than I have, admittedly, so I'm sort of just... I am the teacher. She's like the bus driver because she's doing the majority of the driving and she knows what's coming <laughs> up, so... She'll be like the one off... What's that? Uh, coach trip. Coach, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a never, Vote you out. never ending episode of coach trip. <laughs> so the autumnal colours are coming out which we've mm. noticed and last night especially we noticed how dark it had got so fast. Yeah. Yeah really dark and then obviously this morning it was incredibly foggy but um, kind of nice in a way but mm. yeah things are changing so we have to wrap up for the next part of this video. Mm. So catch us in part two. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share and press the bell button to get notified every time we upload a video. How exciting. So <laughs> don't ever miss out. We'll see you in the next one. Join us next time as we continue on the fairy tale route. We ascend the many steps of the Burj Park Wilhelmshaw to the giant Hercules.